NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, that Obama has called for and signed, stipulates that even American citizens can now be uh, targeted by the military, picked yes, up, and a prison team. In my line of work, you got to keep repeating things over and over and over again for the truth to sink in, to kind of catapult the propaganda. Why the president would want to hide the details of his private meetings with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. On Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election and the Trump campaign. Open the debate on the impeachment of the president of the United States. That you bought, the argument is that you bought yourself some time, you didn't use it to prepare hospitals, you didn't use it to ramp up testing. Right you're now, so, you're so, you're so disgraceful. Millions, as you witness, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter, that's what I say. You in February, with the time that your travel ban bought A lot. You. What? A lot. And in fact, we'll give you a list. What we did, in fact, part of it was up there. We did a lot. Look, look. You know you're a fake. You know that your whole network, the way you cover it, is fake. I wish we had a fair media in this country, and we really don't. Let, let me ask you. You said why some don't state. You act, why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to My get you. My question to you Get is... you, get you. I, I know that you continue to say you Okay, hold it one second. Any other questions from any other people? Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Now, as we can see, 2020 has been one of the craziest years on record. And I find it hard to believe that all this chaos was not done by design. You know, with the election right around the corner, I mean. It seems the media outlets and entertainment industry has teamed up uh, with the Democratic Party to blacken President Trump's name ever since the beginning of his term back in 2016. Now, mind you, the last video was on mind control. Now, they purposely day in, day out put images, videos, voices, words to poison the minds of the people to turn them from Trump even when he's doing everything right. Now, one must ask themselves, why go through all this trouble? I'll tell you why. The Democratic Party are trying to do a power grab on the United States of America. Now let's think for a second. If they're going after Trump for what he stands for, by that I mean freedom, nationalism, standing up to our enemies, protecting our borders, keeping our military strong, and more importantly, God and our Constitution, who do you really think they're gunning for? That's right, you. And yes, Kamala Harris said they will be coming for Trump supporters, and there is a site where Antifa has names of people they will be coming for who vote for Trump. And I can't forget to mention how Antifa website redirects you to Biden's campaign site. You see, the war is not just on Trump. They hate the old America. They want to end nationalism here in America and make America global. Let's be honest. Come on now. The Democratic Party wants the guns from the people of this great nation, all while China is building the economy, military, and from what it looks like preparing for war. So it's clear to me who they work for, and it ain't the people. You remember when Obama said this? The end of the republic has never looked better. But I guess y'all think he was playing, huh? Demoralization is a you know what. But I digress. What would a Biden America look like? Let's take a look at Kami Cali, a state that used to be America's sunny side to vacation, a place where our opportunity to make it big was one more likely done here than any other state. But that is now a thing of the past. The Democratic Party is slowly turning California into a John Carpenter's version of Escape from L.A. And this is no joke. A state with high crime defunding the police while freeing inmates is beyond stupid. But I wouldn't expect anything less coming from the Democratic Party. I mean, the list goes on. The highest homeless population in the nation, disease on the rise, highest taxes, rent impossible to pay, the most unconstitutional gun laws on law-abiding citizens, but we all know criminals don't abide by those laws, riots in the majority of blue states, a mass migration to red states, but for some reason Biden is leading in the polls. We all know this is a lie. This guy can't even get a turnout in his own rallies. It's quite pathetic, really. Uh, the American people have spoken, and they know it, which is why Google, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Big Tech are censoring voices like mine, and the truth is, more people watch channels like this than CNN and Fox put together, and they know this. You see, we're tired of the bullshit. We want to think for ourselves, and they can't have that. This was all an event in 201 on how they were going to deal with what they call fake news. Well, you see it already in Australia. Freedom of speech gets you beat up or jailed. And YouTube wants to delete channels who talk against fraud of mail-in ballots like it's fake news when on their news shows us ballots dumped in dumpsters, parking lots, ditches. Come on. And don't get me started with Kamala who was against Creepy Biden because of his sex crimes are now best friends. I mean, this woman is so far left she could have worked alongside Hitler. And she's black. Now these two walking, hypocritical, treasonous liars preach about change when all they want to do is pick up where Obama left off. And this is who some people voted for? 
Seriously, Biden can't even hold an interview without a teleprompter. He votes during simple debates even when all the cards are in his favor. You know what, screw it, vote for Biden if you want to defund the police and have chaos in your streets because there are no police to keep you safe. Vote for Biden if you want Antifa to kick your door in and kick your ass because Biden came for the Second Amendment. Hell, let's vote for Biden. And let's make America third world. Together.